course, the Osaka incident. It's now referred to the new regime. Well, let's just face up to facts. They were very disrespectful that night. But, you know... Did play an important part in Lucario CXWI Korea. Here is the sun, and what we got here, people, one on one action. So we will see the sun. This one. Was actually requested, he'll go one on one with SMCS. Of course, this might have a bit of controversy about it. SMCS had announced he'd quit CXWI, of course, leading to the vacant or the vacation of the world title. If he won from that, not his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 243 pounds, SMCS. And SMCS, he agreed he would come back for this one night out of respect, out of respect for Lucario. And when you talk about the important people of Lucario's life in CXWI. <clears throat> the first ever international title match. TLC at Immortal. Lucario versus Scott McShannon. And what a matchup that was. That match was probably. You looked at those two and they were absolutely at their best that day. They put on a show which led into the, what's the main event that night, to determine the first ever CX, CXWI World Champion, a matchup between Mewtwo and Randy Lee. Nicely done there by the sun. Into the corner and oh! SMCS though. Of course, as I said earlier, some controversy with SMCS just being here. A lot of people feel that he turned his back on CXWI. There's a few roster members that are very angry about what he did. However, you know, I've stayed before, I respect Scott's reasons, but. I also respect Scott for choosing to come back for this one night. A night in which just the whole meaning of it is so rooted into CXWI. You see right now Scott McShannon. Spinebuster there. You now look out! Oh! Smashed in the back. Uh oh! Nicely done. Ah, the back break up. Now, see now. Oh, nicely done there. And Hassan now going to try and go back on the offense. Bear hug. Now, oh! 
Ah, shit. Ah. See now. Oh, nicely done. Now, my salvo shot there and. A hug. Now. I'll spin around that. Check this out. Ow! Oh! Down there by Scott. Scott now trying to keep the offense going. We'll look out. Nicely done by Dasad. Look at this though. There you go. That's an S5. Now, oh. Counter there by Dasad. You know. I still remember back to when I first started CXWI, following the the death of MCAWW. This first ever CXWI Cup. The matches that were in that. And how CXWI just evolved to become so much bigger than MCAWW could even dream of. When you think about that first CXWI CPV being immortal. You just think about Wow. That that night set CXWI in motion. Little did we know what it would eventually motion to become. So weird how much CXWI has evolved since. Tossed there by the sun and a lot of people would say that it was SMCS and Lucario, that TLC match for the international title, that set in motion that massive change. That led CXWI to become a really, real hardcore based promotion. Done. See now. Nicely done, and now. Oh, another big boot. The sun right now. He looks. Oh, wait a minute. Axe handle from behind that takes from the outside. Now, I'll try that one, but that didn't work. Caught and axe handle again. Now, oh, nice. Now, nice! Nicely done there by Scott McShadden. Oh, look at Scott here! Oh, a leg drop! Taking the sun sign move and using it against them. There's the S5. One, the sun two, being covered. Three, That's it. That's the win for Scott McShannon. Here is your winner. S -F -C -S. Impressive showing there for Scott McShannon. And again. 
another great match for tonight. And even if Scott is back just for this one night following his announcement that he quit. Hey. There was the S5. At least he put on a hell of a show. Now we move on to our next matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And this one is tag team action. And this, uh, this is an interesting confrontation. But once again, just as important to tonight. Of course, the Deadly Saints. Last few months or so name Lucario barely been off of their lips they have been so just some of their words about Lucario have been just the amount of respect that the Deadly Saints have this tag team contest is scheduled for one fall and it is in first from Nashville Tennessee Playing in at 248 pounds. Firestar Hunt. And of course the Saints went to go and visit the um the Brotherhood. Saints went to go and visit the Brotherhood. Just a few uh, a few minutes after Lucario had died. Of course, Phil Mean had went to go and see Lucario ten minutes before he died. But there was... And it is the attack team partner, on Steelport, weighing in at 233 pounds, Tony Jack. The Deadly Saints, uh, they have been very, very respectful towards the Brotherhood. Here's Johnny Gats. And, um, well, the Deadly Saints will certainly have an interesting challenge here tonight. From the new regime. Get down on the ground, put the earth to your ear. You feel that sound? That's revolution you hear. Welcome to the greatest battle of all time. We've just officially been targeted by our own kind. The time has arrived, now we're sounding the alarm. Man up, grab your bump ones, get everybody more. Find all the triggers and try to remain The Brotherhood. I'm sorry, the bump actually had the Brotherhood. A very memorable. Of the legendary confrontation with the new regime, the uh, Osaka incident that night on the CXWI World Tour in Japan, the Night of Champions, and oh, we have already heard by filming and Ben Hopkins. We've already heard their tributes tonight. This could be a very interesting matchup right here. Here comes Ben Hopkins. This is Tag Team Panda from London, England, weighing in at 210 pounds. Ben Hopkins. Ben Hopkins. 